So welcome everyone, happy days are here again. So here we've got another Nintendo Switch accessory review, this time reviewing the Pro Charging Grip. Unlike some of the other accessories I've reviewed, this one is a PDP accessory. It is officially licensed and I would personally like to thank Amazon for delivering this in mm, mint condition. It was like this when I opened the brown box that it came in. A1 condition, definitely. So what actually is this? So this is an alternate grip for the Joy-Cons, very similar to the ones you actually get with the Nintendo Switch. However, it does have some extra functionality and some extra features that I think makes it far superior. As well as this, it's got a charging dock, which the grip fits directly into, which means you can charge your Joy-Cons whilst they're not being used. Obviously it charges on when they're attached to the Switch, but this is an alternative in case you don't want them attached to the Switch at all times. So when I bought these, I paid £11.75 for them, and I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time. Um, I got them straight from Amazon. I had a look recently, and they're out of stock at the moment, but I will link them in the description below in case you're interested. So you know what's coming next. It's a closer look at the box. So starting at the front, a very nice picture of the product itself. However, what I found quite interesting is what on earth is that? So that's not on the product that I've got. So I can only assume that in their own promo pictures, they're using a damaged grip. Clever. Clever. We've got the officially licensed uh, Nintendo product seal down there. Given all the problems with the charging docks and all the power supplies that can cause the you know issues with the Switch products, knowing that it's officially licensed is that, you know, that warm feeling you've got. Just in case it goes wrong, you know Nintendo's going to sort you with their warranty. So a very nice hole ripped in the front. I still can't find the words for that. So let's take a look at the sides and the back. Looking at the bottom, we've got the generic bump, the copyright, all those good things there. On the side, we've got a better look at the uh, the grip itself and the additional thumbsticks that are included. On the other side, another picture of the, the uh, Joy-Con with the thumbsticks on. And on the back, a closer look at what we actually get. Hassle-free drop and charge connection. Mm. Enhanced grip for increased performance. Trigger extensions for quicker reaction time. That's a, that's a true claim. I, I do agree with that one. And analog stick caps for improved accuracy. Mm, that one's debatable. So that's the box there. Made in China as always. So it's time for us to have a closer look at the product itself. So boom, cheeky edit. We've already unboxed it right in front of your eyes. So what have we got here? So first thing I need to point out, and I have to hold my hands up in shame here, is I've lost the analog stick caps. Yeah, these little cheeky things here. I did have them. They were in the box. Amazon didn't steal them. I had them. I put them on. You know, I must admit, I wasn't overly impressed with them. They did raise the height of the Joy-Con um joystick a little bit if you like that sort of thing they're probably good but they weren't for me so what I did is I packed them back up put them to one side put them down and they're gone I'm 99% sure the underpants gnomes are stolen them maybe they'll turn up one day and if they do I'll do a little bit of a review of those specifically for you guys next we've got the instructions which I must admit are a bit of a double-edged sword firstly I do like the size of them very small very precise um, again not going to read them. They're wrapped up in this plastic thing, which oh, I must admit is physically impossible to open as I have no intention of reading it. So put that to one side. We don't need that. So on to the grip. First thing first, take a close look at the front of this. We've got those four LED style uh, holes. You're very familiar with them if you've got the switch. Of course, it's just a bit of plastic. So when the light shines in from the Joy-Cons through there, it then reflects through here so you can see the power. It's very clever. As you can see, it going white and dark. You know, the white is just caused by the reflection of the light from the lights above. And by power, of course, I mean whether it's player one, player two, player three, or player four. Picking up the grip, nice feel to it. So it's got the extended sort of grip, grip arms at the back. Very, very comfortable to hold. Not too heavy, but it's not light. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic to me. You know, it's quite... Yeah, it's quite beefy. It's quite nice to hold in the hands. I must say it's way more comfortable than uh, just holding the Joy-Con separately. 
think at this time I want to introduce the uh, the standard grip that you get with the switch when you buy it. So it does look very similar, but there are some significant differences. So the one at the bottom is the official Nintendo one that comes with the switch. This one here is what we're reviewing today. So in terms of size, hopefully you can see there is a size difference. This is much smaller. So I suppose if you've got smaller hands, this may be for you. However, for me, this is way more comfortable. Both of them, similar design on the front. Looking at the bottom of both of them, this one here is for the charging, as mentioned previously. And now, what I thought was interesting, it's very, very subtle, is if you look at the Nintendo one here, smooth plastic. Yeah, that ain't good for the grip. Whereas this one's got a textured grip, which actually makes a bit of a difference in the hand. It feels a lot more, you know, like it's not going to slide out and fly across the room or anything like that. Also, looking at the top of the devices, the Nintendo one hasn't got anything for the top buttons, whereas this one does. It has those extra trigger buttons to help make it a bit more, you know, familiar for those of us that are used to using a, a controller. So I'm going to slide the Joy-Cons into both of them, and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. So starting with the Nintendo one, as we all know, slides in, click, and slides in click so if you've used this before you know it's quite small in your hands it doesn't feel that solid you know it doesn't it's not poorly built don't get me wrong at all but it's small you know you can see it doesn't overlap it's quite hard to grip you know your fingers they sort of oh they can't quite get no nah, just it's not comfortable enough for me also you know i'm not criticizing the joy con you know top buttons they are you know, suitable for the purposes of being attached to the Switch, making a portable console. But if you're going to use this as a controller, it's certainly got a few flaws. So let's take these out. Let's put them into this bad boy. And let's see, you know, the Ferrari as opposed to the, uh, well, I'm not going to name names. Out it comes, out it comes. And over to the new one. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually open it up. So on the top here, because we've got these auxiliary, you know, buttons to try and you know elongate the top buttons on the Joy Cons, we need to first of all release the catch. So flick it across, opens up, nice little action there. In go the Joy Cons, slide in. Now the difference is, you know, going into the Nintendo one, that one clicks when it goes in place, whereas this one doesn't click. It's a bit stiffer to insert, no pun intended. But in it goes, and it's there. So to finish off the controller, we need to bring up the uh, the top catch. A little bit of a click, and there we go, it's in place. So the big question here is, is how does it feel when it's in your hands? So all I can say is luxurious. It really does make a difference. It feels a lot fuller in your hands. Your fingers, they can grip around the sides a lot better without feeling out of position. Nice, a little bit extra here, it really adds to it. Now you can uh, reach all the buttons nice and, you know, with no problems here. But I think the, one of the biggest additions, the biggest improvements here are these extra trigger buttons. So they really, yeah, make it start to feel like a proper controller. So whereas this is something that you'd use, you know, you know, if someone's coming round, you, you're stuck with controllers, you know, this is a last case scenario. I actually think, you know, this could be a regular thing. You could use this as a general controller. So let's take a look at the dock. Let's look how this goes into the dock. And let's go from there. The dock itself, I don't think it's got a lot of whiz-bang to it. So starting from the bottom, we've got ourselves some rubber feet, which stop it from sliding across any surface you put it on. We've got ourselves a cable. So the cable here, probably, I'd say, about a metre. USB-A unfortunately, but it does make sense as the uh, USB ports on the side of the dock are USB-A, so can't knock it down for that one. Looking at the front, got the Nintendo logo there, and these two here are the charging lights. So once the grip has been placed in the charging dock, these two should light up to show that it's charging. So putting this in the dock, listen very carefully for that lovely noise to know it's worked. And bam straight in place now charging i think it looks aesthetically pleasing <sighs> check out that word not going to repeat it again um yeah i think it looks nice it does its job it feels it's nice and secure it's a nice place to put the uh, joy cons when you're not using them so what i will do is i'll plug in a, a portable charger to show you what it looks like when it's charging nintendo licensed anchor power brick if you want me to do a review of that let me know in the comments plugging it in 
and there we go. So red means it needs some charge. These have been sat on the side for a little bit, so it doesn't surprise me that they need a bit of charge. Uh, but there we go. I do like the idea of pick up, you know, get a bit of bit of Zelda on the go, bit of Animal Crossing, and then when you're done, put it back on so you got full charge, you know, for when your next one to play. I do like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. But what are my final thoughts? So, where to start? Comparing to that, this is cheap tut. Yeah, cheap tut when it compares to this. There is no comparison when you compare them. That is just a casual piece of plastic that you have around. You know, it's token gesture. You get it free with a switch. In comparison, it's terrible. This, on the other hand, I think this is an incredibly good product. I'm absolutely gobsmacked for the price. 1175 for the for the grip and the charging dock. I mean, when you compare that to the other licensed Nintendo Joy-Con um, charging dock, it's way cheaper. I can also do a review of that one if you're interested. But this, you know, I think it's value for money. I love the way the controller feels in your hands. I think the extra, you know, additional top buttons here make a hell of a difference. It makes it feel like a real controller. Nice, grippy, you know, comfortable. Bit of weight to it as well, so it doesn't, you know, feel like a cheap plastic you can often get. You know, I can't fault it in that regard. I wasn't a big fan of the um, extra buttons to go onto the uh, joysticks. <laughs> Not that I've even got them now anyway. But don't let that knock you back. I think those are just something they add in to make the, the deal that oh so much sweeter. But what you actually physically get here, I think is worth every penny. I'd say if you're looking for a uh, grip for your Joy-Cons, you know, to make it a proper controller as opposed to just being two Joy-Cons separately, I think this is definitely the one to go for. It's the best one I've seen, it's the best value. You know, you can't go wrong with this. So I'll leave it there. Thumbs up if you like the video. Comment below if you've got any comments. If you've got anything uh, you want me to review, feel free to leave me a comment. And of course, click that subscribe button. So stay safe, stay out of trouble, and take it easy.